Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So we are just about to finish up the Deadlight Donjon, apparently. <laughs> the de the Deadlight area. We killed Benweth, even though it seemed like there were some options to maybe side with him or something, but I don't like the guy. I just killed him and I was done with it. We picked up some cool gear and now we're going to start our episode by leveling up and then finishing up, you know, Benwitz's uh, crew over here. So, I looked over the level ups. Uh, I'm still kind of undecided about what to do with these things here. So, I'm simply gonna keep giving there some athletics over here. Maybe alchemy wouldn't be too bad if I plan on using drugs on him a little bit more often. Maybe. I don't know how relevant they're gonna be. <clears throat> and for passive skills... I mean, I have a lot in survival. I have then a little bit in each of these. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with survival because I don't know what else to do, honestly. In terms of my ability tree, I think I have what I need from the passives right now. I have confident aim. I have weapon and shield, and from over here, I have nothing else. But I, I don't really need it, at least for right now. Um, so I think I'm going to go for this one, Into the Fray. There's been quite a lot of occasions where enemies are starting to go behind my front line and into my back line. And being able to pull them into my tank might actually be the help I need. So it's going to be my choice here. That's it for Eder. For Shoti... Um, I mean, she has some points in alchemy, but I think I'm just going to keep giving her some points in arcana for the, the um, for casting spells from scrolls. And I think this also increases the power level of the scrolls, so it could be quite handy. Um, and in the passive skills, since I know she scales with religion, I'm going to keep going on religion. As for the ability, uh, I am kind of considering combat focus, gaining concentration at the start of each combat. Make sure she isn't interrupted on the first hit she takes. But I think it would be more useful right now to simply have access to another spell. And right now what I have is... I have buff, debuff, heal, buff, heal and debuff. Well, with a little bit of damage. So I think I'm gonna go for the Pillar of Faith. Because this one deals crushing damage to the target. And on the foe AoE it can interrupt and also knock enemies in the area prone. So this can also be uh, can always be useful, especially with this whole dynamic of spells are always per encounter. I can kind of quote unquote spam this. So with my choice, we're gonna go now for Mr. Aloth. So for Mr. Aloth, like I said in the previous episode, I was giving him some points in alchemy because of the poison thing. And there are some spells that deal poison damage. Uh, I think I'm going to give him some more points right now, but I, I believe I'm going to be splitting them between Alchemy and Arcana. Because him also being able to cast, you know, uh, spells from scrolls at higher power levels is naturally good. In terms of the passive skills, I'm going to go for Metaphysics. And he has a lot invested into history right now, but honestly, I... I I think I want to split it between Metaphysics and Insight. It makes sense for me for this character here. As for our spells, I'm going to go for my other go-to, which is going to be Deleterious Alacrity of Motion. Just making him faster. And something that we cannot neglect, um, which is very, very important here, is that Swift not only gives him plus 5 dexterity and movement speed, but it makes him immune to engagement. And there has been several times... Where, where melee enemies have come to just beat on Aloth in melee. And I couldn't get away because I'm, you know, I don't want to get disengagement attacks. So this will make sure that I'm safe from that, hopefully. So that's my, my spell pick here. <clears throat> and finally for my rogue. Um, I think I'm going to go for sleight of hand. To be able to steal more stuff from people. And as for my passive skills, I think I'm going to go for some more streetwise here. 
And maybe just split between Streetwise and Bluff. That's probably what's going to happen. Um, ability tree wise, choices we have. I could go for Protective Companion to start working on uh, for Stalker's Link, which is useful. I could go for Gunner, which I think might just be the choice I'm going to take. Because everything else of relevance, I think I've already taken. Because I have Dirty Fighting, I have Two-Handed Style. I could also go for Blind or for the Smoke Veil. But right now I have Chill Fog hopefully taking care of this. And maybe the Gunner is going to be the better choice. Even though right now I mostly like using the Arbalest for the opening salvo and then a bow. Well, right now I have a pistol, so let's go for Gunner. It's, it's, I don't think it's that important right now if I go for one or the other, so... I'm always going to pick Gunner eventually, so might as well just take it now. Okay, so our weapons are looking fine. And we have this bunch of enemies here of course. that I'm going to take care of. But I want to try and see if I can stealth into this room before engaging so that I can make use of this choke point. Uh, I do not trust the pathing in this game. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So I am going to bring one person at a time. And I'm going to start with the ones that have the most stealth. Done. So Seraphon can go. Then I can go right after. I think I can't see you, you see I'm kind of afraid that people with low stealth are going to get seen here. So that, that's why I'm doing this right now. Oh. And let me see if you guys can go through. And maybe just, just get it there and Mr. Piggy a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. In you. case somebody fails stealth. Oh, Lord. Okay. So far, so good. Happy to Shoti, oblige. your turn. Okay. Mr. Piggy. Don't know what kind of stealth score Mr. Piggy has. Enough. Okay. And finally, we have Mr. Eder here. Oh, and I had picked up um, an armor piece for him, didn't I? Yeah, a fine brigandine. So if you can if you can pair it, ten armor rating, which is very cool. Well, the the recovery time sucks <clears throat> naturally, but I think having more um, plus two to armor is gonna be very nice. So take that. Anybody want to use this? Maybe you? Uh, wait, like I have to compare it. Sorry. So put it here and compare. Nope, same thing. Actually, crush and freeze. This one is better, I think. Okay. So everybody is where they should be. So now let's take a, a minute here to consider positioning. Okay. There is going to be right in front of the door. Or actually, maybe something like this. And Mr. Piggy can stay with the other side. What do you need? Because I want to try and have them both contribute to the combat. And with Seraphon, my plan, honestly, is to buff up, maybe debuff the opponent, and then use my leap to jump behind and start flanking and smashing them. As for Aloth and Shoti and myself, everything will be the regular stuff, which is just shoot oh. from behind. Okay. So you can stay maybe over here. And I believe I'm simply going to reveal... Hey there. Maybe swap for this. I forgot. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's let's swap for defender stands. And now let's pull them in. Okay, combat start. We're gonna begin by giving us all some defenses because I think we're gonna need them. You. I think you can start by. By waiting. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for them to come over here and then cast a Slicken or maybe something like um, a Chill Fog. So I'm actually gonna swap for the Blessing first to get more accuracy. Uh, stay where you are. Okay, they're coming in. This bitch is trying to... Oh, he swapped. He was gonna paralyze it there, but then he changed his mind. So this Spellblade, ideally... 
I would like to shoot him, but I don't have the line of sight. You are gonna buff up. Okay, you are gonna become uh, aware. Okay, he's tanking already. Let's try to knock this guy down if possible. Mr. Piggy, <clears throat> let's just wait here. Uh, I'm trying to go for that one. Okay, that's fine. We have the blessing now. Cool. Wow, is everybody ranged right here or something? This guy's trying to blind. Okay, so the chances to hit are not bad. It's 67, 64, 57% with the slicken. Let's go for that. Okay, we're gonna try to blind this guy. It's a shame there are no more enemies in, in range. I, I might wait with this then, I don't know. Oh, Let's wait. Isn't doing the job. Okay, you are taking some damage here. Piggy, go fight. Shoti, uh, that's not what you should be doing. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, man, this game can be very weird sometimes, I gotta say. Okay, now he has line of sight, but he lost stealth. Ugh. Yeah, this, this was very bad. Okay, the Slicken might need to change position. Something like over here, maybe. Yeah, because otherwise Mr. Piggy might get hit. Um, okay, one shot, he's hobbled. Even if I want to... <laughs> I don't have range with my pistol, that's the problem. Right? Can I see the range? I can't even see the range. Maybe it's enough? Let's see. You are taking too much damage. Try to heal, please. And... I think that all range or something. <clears throat> I'm gonna leap. And I, I believe that Seraphon will probably go down. Because he's jumping on top of all of this. But what else can I do, right? If they're just over here doing nothing... I could wait to get a chill fog. I'll just jump. Screw it. Start flanking. Why not? Let's see the Barbarian in action. And why are you shooting instead of casting your spell, dude? See, this is... This is... I, I don't understand this game sometimes. I said cast Slicken and he just attacked someone. I I have no idea why, man. I have no idea why. Okay, let's get a passive healing going here. Uh, you come here to flank. Okay, I'm shooting that guy with my pistol. You should start beating on this one. Yes. He's flanked. Okay, now they're coming in. Ugh. Okay. So the Slicken should still hit everybody. No. Okay, we're healed up, which is good. I'm going to try and get a Pillar of Faith going over here, <clears throat> which would be good if it lands. Is this a Slicken? It is. Everything missed. Man. They have very high reflex saves. Very high indeed. So what if I hit them with this then? So start with this and then go for a chill fog. Yeah. You utter bitch. That, that's fine. My next shot will kill him, so... Not very concerned about this. Ow. Really? Really? I'm... I missed and they already killed Mr. Piggy! No! That's not good. Um, let me see if I can pull this guy just to kill him with the damage. You are beating on this one. That's fine. Let's toss out some damage maybe. Although this guy is trying to paralyze him, which is not ideal. Ow. Okay, you cast your thing. 
Let's go for the chill fog over here. Uh, please don't die. Okay, that would be great if you didn't die. I might have to swap my thing here. I'm gonna heal instead of using the Pillar of Faith. Okay, yeah, there killed him. Good, that's what I wanted. So you are gonna give the wounding shot on this guy. I don't understand why the game pushes my characters like this. I, I'm starting to get upset about that. I stop going there, man. What the hell? Okay, sorry. I don't want to get angry with this, but the game is starting to annoy me with these weird mechanics and movements. Okay. Let's speed this up. She's taking some damage. We're shooting some people. Come on. This guy is running on top of everything. Okay, good. This guy is almost dead. Um, still, I don't want to uh, swap my focus. I think my rogue is going to kill him. Well, he died to the, <laughs> the chill fog, of course. Um, so, I'm gonna go for a wounding shot there. You are going to go for... I think you're gonna go for a noxious burst. Hitting everybody here. Yeah, and the accuracy is actually quite high on this, so... Go for it. Shoti, I have a heal for you if I need it. Yeah, so I think we're fine. This guy is moving out of the way. You lost your frenzy. Frenzy again. And I want to aim at the weak ones, not the strong one. Crippling strike on this guy. Yep. Let me make sure this is still hitting everyone. Yes, it is. Come on, big shot. And you are actually going to heal instead of doing that. Killed one. Hurt that one. Not bad, not bad. Frenzy now. Now let's work on this guy. Shoti is fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. I think I'm just gonna get a combusting wound over here. This is futile. Okay. Wait, why am I... Oh, I think he's a barbarian. I'm getting carnaged. Okay, back up. That's why I'm taking so much damage. I wasn't understanding why. Okay, so let's shoot this guy from far away, please. <laughs> Instead of dying. You can actually use this then. Okay, she should be fine. Okay, he went down very quickly. Okay, crippling strike. Well, I think it's the first time we've had people go down, so I'm not that upset. Uh, I'm gonna just kill this guy with a shot here. And keep shooting this one. Okay, he's dead. Uh, I should probably heal. Or I might try to just harvest him. Yeah, I'll try to harvest. He has low enough HP for it. Any Wait, who hit for 73? He took 73 damage, right? From who? From me? Uh, maybe I read the value wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, we had our first people go down. Mr. Piggy went down. Seraphon went down. Ah, okay, so here we have the... Yeah, this is the injury here. Mr. P... I don't know if Mr. Piggy has an injury or not. But this guy has a penalty to fortitude. Okay, that's fine. This was the last fight, I think, in, in the area, so... I don't feel too bad about this. 
I keep forgetting about the grimoires. <laughs> As usual. Take everything. Another grimoire. Okay. What? Wait, now he's hostile? Why is he hostile? He wasn't hostile before. <laughs> Man. This game is very strange sometimes. He is not hostile. That I can tell. Yeah, not hostile. Wait. Not but this one is. Why? Was he like in range of something? Look there. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh I don't I don't even I I don't know, man. I don't understand this, <laughs> but sure. <laughs> Sure, I guess. Okay, Mr. Piggy, go over there. Uh, you're gonna tank this. I wish I had my Archibus, but I forgot. Let's start working on this guy over here. I think I'm simply gonna buff up with speed. And then just start beating. Shoti can... Just open up with the Blessing. And you can also go over there. Oh, hidden item, nice. Whoa, Mr. Piggy took a bunch of damage there. Uh, let's actually just swap for the, the reloaded shot here and go for the crippling strike. And you can just finish him off. Nice shot. Uh, Shoti, let's go for the Pillar of Faith. Mr. Piggy, go flank. You go kind of flank. And wounding shot on this one. You have your buff, so just shoot. Okay, Piggy is flanking. Uh, you can frenzy. Yeah. Why do you st why do you stop? What's the matter with your AI, man? This game is very, 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 very strange sometimes. That's all I have to say. It's really, really strange sometimes. Okay, so I'm immune to engagement. So I can run away. And hopefully Seraphon can pick him up. Uh, you guys just keep on beating on this one. No, leave me alone. Indeed. Leave me alone, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, of course, it didn't work. Dude, please, man, just kill him. Stop messing around. What? He died to the dot and I just wasted my shot? <laughs> okay. Uh, why is this doing to me? Indeed. Okay. These ends are in for a wallop. You won't show him the whip feather yet. I will like to believe that this is just me not yet properly accustomed to the How may I help? the gameplay mechanics. There are definitely some things that feel very, very strange. Okay, what is this? Ah, okay, yeah, I knew it. This really looked like a secret door, and it was a secret door. Now, the one thing I'm fearing is these guys were not hostile before, so... Does this mean that other pirates in the area are now also hostile? I really hope not. Nope. Okay, everything seems fine. I'll just keep on going then. Okay. Okay, so, <clears throat> we have cleared uh, everything that I could find in uh, this area. This guy has some items to sell, but for or blades right away. they're kind of expensive, and I'm not sure if I really need them at this point. Like, this item here, the Bloody Links, is kind of cool, but 5,000 gold, man, it's, it's way too much. I could take another rope or two. Yeah, all these things, I'm going to take a few. They're always useful. And the spark crackle, I like them, so I'm going to take two more. Okay. 
And I want to try and sell stuff to someone that gives me a, a higher discount. I'm not sure if selling is affected by discount, but I'm going to try and see if it is. But this should be the end of this particular area. Oh, it... All right, completed. Okay. But it still says... Yeah, I need to report to Captain Furante, who res resides in the island of Dunnage. Okay, so let's <clears throat> quick save here. We're going to go back to our ship. Let me see if I can find uh, where this guy is staying. So the Steel Preacher, Villarios Rest, in Gwithen Dick site. Dunnage, a neck attacker. So these are my main areas right now. And this one I, I think I got a letter to go there, but it's very far away. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to Dunnage right now because it makes sense given the quests we are doing. So let's go to Dunnage. Okay, let's speed this up. I should have enough food and water for everything. There's a port over here with a very high level encounter, apparently. Very peaceful journey. Another port over there. Dunnage. Okay. This looks like a very tiny island. Dunnage. Okay. You're right. He does do that with his hands. What? Fine. Tis rough in his precious spelly book that scares the lad. <laughs> or maybe tis notch in his wee finger. <laughs> <laughs> you come and stop. My sides hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, I miss this. Surely you've spied how he's always brushing himself. He won't say, but he's a feared of seagull shit. <laughs> I, I, this... Man, the interaction between Eder and Isilmir are very, very fun. Um, so, before I forget, because I forgot a bunch of times already, I want to check out the spell books here. So, my Grimoire has a bunch of stuff that I like. And then I have the Skeletal Wizard's Grimoire, which is not bad. It's not that different from mine, actually. But I lose Slicken. This one is much worse. I think this is the same thing. Same thing. And same thing. Okay, so all of these spells I'm not interested in. Uh, not spells, sorry. Um, remorse. Ahoy, Captain! So, this is Dunnage. We have a couple of named people here. Udita or Udaita. Damn me for a buttered slice of hard sack. It's. it's you, ain't it? Do I know you? The pale elf squints at you and puffs on her pipe. Accurate smoke from the bowl reads her face. Yeah, do I know you? Of course not, but I know you like I know the curve of my eleventh toe. She winks and shuffles closer. The Watcher, captain of a mighty ship. God chaser and fiend slayer. Huh. Must be expensive sustaining a reputation like that, eh? She rubs her fingers together. I'll keep it quick, see? If your little dinghy has got some chase in it, I've got a list of captains with a black mark to their name whose ships need a quick scuttling. Oh. And I'm in the market for a scuttler. Is this a bounty hunter? She sticks the... Or a bounty giver. She sticks the pipe in the side of her mouth and grins, showing a mouth full of yellow teeth. She's quite creepy. <laughs> You're offering me a bounty? Where do I start? You read me like a book, you do. Then let's talk business, eh? Hey. She cracks her knuckles and grins. You'll be looking to scuttle Cornu first, one of Rawatai's finest, eh? I don't ask my client what he did or what scale his death balance is. Safer to keep questions in the hold. The powerful naval kingdom of Rawatai is dominated by coastal Amawa and ruled by a Ranga Nui. Currently the most prosperous of the old empires, Rawatai has expanded aggressively into the Deadfire Archipelago to secure natural resources that are scarce in their native storm-torn land. 
tough folk, dwarves and orlans can be found in Rawatai. Most are merchants of, um, or remnants of the old kingdoms Rawatai conquered when they seized power centuries ago. Legends say that the Rawataians come to their, came to their lands from the Deadfire Archipelago in the wake of a terrible cataclysm, but the details of that event have been lost to time and the imagination of storytellers. Okay, sure, I'll take the bounty. Of course you will. Now's a good opportunity when you seize it. Kornu helms a voyager early muster in the waters north of Nekataka and south of Sayuka. Okay, so I, I'm guessing that I, I don't need to take this. I can just accept the quest and not take the bounty. Avon. Um. Okay, where do your bounties come from? She takes the pipe from her mouth and glances away, sighing through her nose. <sighs> Better if you don't ask. Why not? Because the dead fire's in a big, ugly power play, it is. And not everyone gets quartered for being in the game. One captain, she's a piece, standing 20 rounds distant from the real players. Another, he's a means to some unknowable end. Who's to say why they both need to die? She gestures with her pipe in a broad circular motion. And the type of clients he pays for the red worker scuttling. They don't blow the gaff to the elf. She points first to you and then back to her before wedging the pipe back between her teeth. Okay. So, farewell. <clears throat> oh, now you level up. Okay. Let's see. If I find myself in a position where I think I'm gonna fight... Oh! <gasps> yes! Piggy! Chauncey! Man! Chauncey! He has the best name out of all of them. Chauncey. Plus one dexterity? And what do you do? 5% of incoming hits converted to graces from weapons. So he does the same thing um, that the other kitty does. This one here, I think. Yeah, same thing. Although this one gives perception and this uh, and Chauncey gives dexterity. But, you know me, if you guys saw PoE 1, you know that the most important aspect of the entire game and the most important companion was Mr. Piggy. So, Chonchi, come here. And I, I just love the name Chonchi. What is this? What is this? Ah, I see. Okay, you can toggle on or off the hat, the cloak, and the pet. Interesting. Okay, cool. There's a lot of uh, quality of life uh, upgrades in this game. Chauncey. Let's look at Chauncey. Oh, he's such a good piggy. He's very chonkish. Oh. Now we have Mr. Piggy, all grown up, and we have baby piggy, Mr. Chauncey. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm very happy now. I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, no, no. I remembered. <laughs> so, I was saying that if I find myself in a position where I think there's going to be a fight, I might just pause the video to look over the level up and level him up. Otherwise, I'm going to try and keep it for the next episode. So, Barquami. A large Omawa sailor sits on the docks, broad shoulders hunched forward, back bowed. When he shifts, his blue-green skin ripples over his hulking muscles. Ain't no cruel eye of me. What good's a pirate who can't see? Oh, he's blind. You get navigating by the stars or shooting a pistol. I can't even swing a sword accurately now. Yeah, I guess he got in a fight or something and he's blind. Have a pity and toss me a pyre, will you? Yeah, sure, dude. Andra's blessings to you for sharing, sailor. What's your story? Is this what my life boils down to? A moment of entertainment for others. That that was not my intention, man. He sighs heavily, big shoulders hunched. I was a bosun not so long ago, and a damn good one at that. But I took a shot to the face, see? I do see. Looks like a, bl a blunderbuss. He waves one massive hand in front of his sightless eyes. Didn't lose much skin, but the flash burned out me eyesight. I can't make out so much as a blurry shape more than a foot away. Makes me right useless on a crew now, don't it? No one will have me for work. Okay, well, <clears throat> farewell, dude, <clears throat> and all the best to you. Two more named people. Chauncey. <laughs> Chauncey. Best name. 
Carlo Fortuni. A lot of these people sound Italian, and even the the um, the dialect that some of them speak, like Aimico and stuff like that, is very Italian. A trim man in practical, well-crafted leathers watches you from the corner of his eyes. When he catches you looking his way, his hand drifts casually to the dagger at his hip and lingers for a moment. Then he smiles, the corners of his hazel eyes crinkling with genuine warmth, and waves you over. Te cozy, traveler. Care to hear a tale? He rubs thoughtfully at the stubble along his jaw. Well... Tell me about yourself. I was born to a family of merchants on the Pearl Coast. I was a restless boy, and my feet took me to the Valen Republics when I came of age. As Carlos speaks, his previously strong Valen accent begins to fall away, and his voice takes on the characteristic twang of the Dirwood. I learned of the power of geography and language at my father's knee, and those skills proved useful in the Republics. I had many successful years as a merchant, and then I made a mistake. Go on. He gives you a small smile and an easy shrug of his shoulders. I joined up with a company based in Girara that traded in beautiful weavings. But they were ill-gotten gains, forcibly produced by a weaver the company kidnapped named Boniseta. I didn't learn the truth until it was too late. And when our crime was uncovered, I was exiled from the Republics. That's a shame. Indeed. But I should have asked better questions of my employers. And now I'm here, kicking my heels in the dead fire, <laughs> where no one knows my name and with few prospects before me. I would like to make amends to Boniseta personally, but it seems a distant possibility. Ah, well, I learned my lesson. I won't be played for a fool again. Can you teach me? What do you mean? Can you teach me what you learned in the Valen Republics? Ark, you listen to my tale. I suppose I can do that for you for... Uh, 3,000 copper? Eh? He wants me As to... As you say. What? You should want for me, I will be here. He gives you a friendly nod and turns away. So he wants money for some kind of information. And this is Kai Polchek. You find a woman of early middle um, of early middle years dressed fine, if dirty, armor adorned with bright purple piping. A pair of long scars bisect her brow and jaw. Though she stands at ease, a nervous energy thrums through her. Fair day, traveler. She grins broadly, a joyful twinkle lighting her eyes. Anything I can do for you, just say the word. Tell me about yourself. Lady adventurer at your humble service. I was born in a deer and raised in the field, and there's nary a crevice of this archipelago I haven't seen. The field? Aye, the living lands most off, but the dead fire as well of late. And my goodness, if you think the dead fire's wild, I must say, it's no more thrilling than a lady of luxury's afternoon luncheon in comparison to the glorious madness of the living lands. <laughs> Being a cipher's come in quite handy, I'll tell you that. She's a cipher. Do you often get into trouble, then? Oh, dear me, yes. Can't seem to avoid it. Not a lick of it's my fault, of course. It's the university. Of course. Always sending me to the most dangerous corners of Aeora, the skimps. If I didn't know better, I might say they were trying to kill me. There's not other way to rid themselves of a tenured professor, after all. She laughs. Get any good stories out of it, please? Oh, aye, aye. Some you wouldn't right believe. Like the time I lost part of my ear here, see? She pulls back her hair and shows you her mangled ear. It looks like something's had a good chew on it. Ugh. Lost an entire research team along with the ear. Rather a long day, that was. My colleagues have implied I might be cursed, but I can't say I much agree. It's just the nature of the work, you understand. I mean, goodness, if you want a lady to find you the rarest plants, you gotta send her to the most remote places. Is this going anywhere? On my last expedition, my colleague Ennis got herself lost looking for what was essentially a big prickly weed. No medicinal use at all. I found her, though. Mostly intact, even. 
A blessing from the living lands, I call it. Aye. But I do go on, don't I? She loves gaily. Gaily? Gaily? A hand's played across her chest. Oh, so the same thing as the other guy. Could you teach me what you learned in your time exploring the living lands? With pleasure. Teaching is my specialty, after all. I'm gonna pack your brain with so much knowledge, you're gonna have a headache for a week. <laughs> all I need from you is 3,000 copper. Okay, so the same thing as this guy. <clears throat> they they sell some kind of information? That's your prerogative, I suppose. Come back if you change your mind. I wonder if this is like in POE 1, where you get certain traits from from some people or quests. <laughs> oh, another pet. My area of expertise. I don't think any pet is going to take over Mr. Chauncey, but... I'm going to see anyway. Oh, Zorro! <laughs> nice name again. Plus one resolve. And plus five to reflex for the party. Okay, nothing, nothing spectacular there. Some rotten fish. <clears throat> okay, so nothing much in this area. <clears throat> well, besides Chauncey, naturally. And the bounty giver. Ah, okay. So there's four areas here. We have Lifter's Refuge, Balefire Beacon, Radiant Court, and the King's Coffin. Let's check out the King's Coffin. Oh, it's a, it's a tavern. Named person, named person, okay. Just a pirate. The wall is notched and scarred from countless knife throws that completely missed the target. <laughs> okay. Another named character. Kill him. Oh. Wait an hour, then pull any gold teeth. Easy as pie. You're an idiot. Wait a minute, wait an hour. Alive, dead. It makes no difference at all. I've pulled plenty of gold teeth. I know the right way of it. Maybe I'll pull your teeth just to prove you wrong. Dead. <laughs> what do you know? It really does make no difference. You. Okay. I like that one. Naturally, is an Orlan. Man, I like Orlans. Probably just insecure. Right, Probably. Done. I'll see it done. Man, Orlans are a lot more rowdy than in the in the first game. Let me just see. Can ah uh, no. I was trying to see if I could find that Orlan on the outside, but I there's no outside here. Okay, so he a trap was detected. Okay, where? I think it was somewhere over there, but I, I there's nothing to interact with. Uh, game. Though slightly frayed around the edges, the sailcloth has been carefully cleaned and maintained. Ah, there's a trap. Okay. At the bar, you find a tall man with salt grey hair and strikingly bright blue eyes. His face sports a handful of long scars that continued on his neck and disappeared beneath the collar of his shirt. He looks up from wiping down the counter when you approach and gives you a broad, disarming smile. Haven't seen you around before. Welcome to the King's Coffin. Yeah, the King's Coffin. Okay. And I, I love the music. His smile is wide enough to show you his bright white teeth, but his light eyes remain cold and flinty. What can I do for you? Your tavern looks like an old ship. Figured that out all on your own, did you? I did, I'm quite proud of it. You're right though, inherited an old dow from my da when he passed. Bright piece of shit it was too. <laughs> Realised I was bound to make more coin turning her into a tavern than letting her rot in her berth. <laughs> It's a, it's a it's a good enough idea. I want to buy something. What do you want? Uh, okay, so we can we can rent a room. We can look for sailors. I think we can just do the regular thing you can do at the end. Uh, let me show uh, show me your stock of provisions. So long as you show me some coin. So he has the usual stuff. He has some unique stuff as well. Oh, god damn. Okay. Honey white hen. This is very good for there. 
Was expensive as hell as well. Oh, oh. Okay, so these are like the, the best foods. Forgetful night. And the minus three dexterity is kind of annoying, but very good. Luminous lobster. <laughs> okay. What about the rooms? We have the bilge pump, which costs nothing, gives nothing. Max health, enemies engaged, plus two to might and concentration. Plus three to perception, plus one max in power points. Okay. So I do want to rest because um, Seraphon fell down. I think I'm going to go for the, the might and concentration one. Sounds good enough. <clears throat> sure. Okay. And I want to deal with that. Let me quick save here. And... I also don't know if quick saving... Oh, come on. I'm so close to being able to stealth here. If quick... Um, if disarming a trap is considered uh, stealing or something. Leave it to me. No, nobody seems to care. This is stealing, though. How do I... Okay, so wait, yes, wait, wait, I'll wait. Because Seraphon has the highest stealth score. So you take these. This puts you at 7 stealth, I believe. 7, yep. Okay, so how can I do this? Like from up here? Yeah. This guy is very much in my way though. No, you bitch, no! Ugh. Okay. This could be good. God damn it. Okay, he has to come over here. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for another good opportunity. But I think it's when this guy goes down and this guy comes over here, I think that's when I have to do it. Because I cannot get past him like this. I do have an idea... Um, with the, the leap boots. I might be able to leap from here to over there. But I sincerely doubt I would remain in stealth though. Wait, is he going away? Yeah, he's going away. Okay, sorry. We, got, we gotta wait for this. He has to come back. And then we go. Come on, man. Don't you dare. You utter bitch, man. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on. Let's see if it works. God damn it. Okay, so this 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 doesn't work. Let me try a different tactic. We get the leap. And I don't know if leap will make me remain in stealth. I kind of doubt it, let's be honest, but I want to see. So quick save. Leap over there. I'm still in stealth. Yeah, I am. I am. Oh. Uh -huh. Very worth it. Very worth it. Gimme. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. An exceptional pistol, not bad. So if I wanted to dual wield pistols, I would have two exceptional ones right now. Quite nice, quite nice indeed. Man, this this guy right here is very annoying. I just want to pickpocket this guy and this one is impeding that. Or just making everything last longer. Or take longer. Dunge Tavern Owner Key. 
Okay, I'm gonna wait for the key to get the experience from lockpicking stuff. What for, Captain? Done done. Let's actually explore the area. Oh, God have mercy on me. Are you? Yeah, he's named as well. This one's also named, but it doesn't show up when you tab the demon. I'm curious. Cabin Boy and Irwena. This is all stealing. Dude, you have a very long detection range. Dude, go away, man, please. Yeah. His detection um, speed is very high. Can I even stay in stealth with... Yeah, look at this. Jesus. Okay, let's go. I'll deal with this. Okay, skill too low. Okay. Needs 11. Jesus. Hmm. Okay, so, well, change of plans. We are going to pickpocket this guy for the key. Of course, this guy is going to be annoying. Yes, as usual. Okay. I'm quick saving just so if something happens, I can just quick load and not waste time. <sighs> Captain Boy. Here he comes again, the demon. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I know you leveled up. Leave me alone. Okay, get the key. So, stealth is important. And now I can just wait somewhere safe, like here. And now it should be enough. Unlocked. Ooh. It just said 999 plus. It didn't say how much it was. Okay, well, quick save. Andres crushing void. I'm starved. Okay, nothing. What do we have here? A young man dressed in skin tight leathers gives you a quick once over. He must like what he sees because he smiles wide. His lips just parted. Oh, please don't. How can I ease your troubles, friend? What do you do here? I surprise and delight the clientele. Yeah, no. My speciality is oils. Full body rubdowns, right? Fit to leave you limber, clear headed, and free of the stresses of hard living. I got other skills, of course. Should you be looking? And all for a measly 200 piles. So, yeah, no. I think. A male prostitute, not something I'm looking for. The female one, though. Mm. Go for the male one. <laughs> no. My, my. <laughs> Aren't you a handsome yeah, she's, uh. she's old. Don't you want to go for the male one? <laughs> no, I don't want any of them. An older woman looks you up and down and smiles, revealing several gold teeth. Did you need oh help with something, my dear? No, just, just farewell. Yeah. Look, woman, you know what that is? It's Chauncey. It's Chauncey. Chauncey, best Chauncey. Chauncey, best Chauncey. <laughs> I found him in this <laughs> island and I'm very happy. <laughs> He's very tiny. Where is the big one, though? There's right here, Mr. Piggy. Oh, there he is, yeah. Mr. Hello, Piggy. Mr. Piggy. <laughs> okay, so let's see where I'm going to go next. I'm going to go... To... No, I'm gonna speak to people, that's right. So, let me see here. This one. If you're enjoying my performance, tips are welcome but not required. Thank you, loyal patron. Voice monotone, the wizard examines her nails as she speaks. A hand on her hip, she cocks her head as she waits for you to speak. It doesn't look like you're enjoying yourself. I work for a handful of pyres per day. How could I find enjoyment in that? Uh, I don't know. How did you end up among these pirates? I was playing dice and gambled on a sure thing. It turned out not to be such a sure thing, and now Harker owns my arse until I can pay off the debt. Ah, 
Okay. She grunts. Of course I started off owing him 250, and even though I've paid that twice, now I'm in the hole for 700. The interest rate, this uniform, my food and drinks, they all got added onto my tab at the end of the day. Mm. Well, here's the tip. Oh, thank you, patron. I'll be <laughs> debt free in no time. Despite the reward, she doesn't actually sound appreciative. Yeah, you don't say. In fact, she rolls her eyes as she tucks the coin into her pocket. Okay, so she's indebted to this guy. And finally, there's this guy, Pietro. The booth is cozy and quiet, perfect for discreet dealings. Hunched on his hands and knees, quivering and drenched in sweat, the pirate lets out a pain-filled groan. Lost my god's damn soul and stupidity! Andre, save me now! What's wrong with you? My ship was attacked and boarded by pirate hunters. Didn't know if we'd be able to get away, so I swallowed down my most valuable possession. Oh god. And got his black tear. Gemstone. About the size of my fist. <laughs> ah, yeah, we read this before. Of course, now it ain't coming out of either end. Uh. Been trying all manner of foul concoctions to no effect on account of my stomach being too strong. Years of sailing the storm wrecked seas will do that to you. Started feeling an intense pain two days ago. I think. I think I might be dying. I can't even crawl no more. Mm. <laughs> Evil. What if I just punch you really hard in the stomach? That might get it out. <laughs> uh, what can I do to help? Make me puke. Whatever you got to do, just make it happen before this cursed gem kills me. Give me... Something strong enough to upset even my iron gut. Okay, so he cannot vomit by any means. Uh, Rosanella's got a stand in a radiant court. She's been supplying me with some um, experimental concoctions. Tweaking them after. Tell her the last one actually came close to working. Okay, so there's actually someone... Okay, we have a new task. We have to speak to this Rosanella, and she might be able to have something to get that guy to puke. And finally, Elias Zelen. You find a lanky blonde elf flipping through a book of a hidden poetry by the artist Silba. His armor is well worn and well kept, and bears on its breast the image of a double headed eagle holding his sword and crown. Looking more closely, you notice that with his free hand, he's picking a padlock. Hello. May I help you? He catches you looking and gives you a shy smile. Need anything? Is this another one of those guys that can teach me something? I'm not sure what there is to tell. I'm a man of adventure, mostly. It sounds like it. Have you had any that could make a good story? A few. More than I could share in a night, to be sure. There is one that's close to my heart. It led me to my love. Go on. He nods, pleased. I was on an expedition into the backwoods of Red Seras when I came across an abandoned town. To my great surprise, I found a tremendous hoard of books in the town priest's cottage. What's surprising about that? The Red Serans are conservative folk, more so even than the Adherans. They don't have much use for reading that doesn't come from one of the holy texts of the Church of Aethus. And what a selection of books it was. Every subject represented. Even some questionable ones. I couldn't help but help myself to them. I took as many as I could carry, and I can carry quite a bit. Read them all cover to cover and learned a lot too. Okay. I tired soon of wandering, so I settled in a small town in the Deerwood and became a tutor for a noble family. Fell in love with the governess, naturally. And I stayed. For a while. Then what? Well... He rubs at the back of his neck and looks away a moment. I felt a stirring in my bones one day. I can't explain it. I just woke up, caught sight of the horizon, and had to go. I left my lady wife right there in our marital bed. What the hell, why? 
He sighs deeply, a look of longing flits across his face, but he stifles it, to, stifles it with a quick frown. I don't know what's waiting for me out here in the dead fire. But I have hope this will be my biggest adventure yet. Okay, so once again, can you teach me what you've learned in your travels? Well, you listen to my long tail. I suppose you are owed a trick oh. For the low price of 3,000 copper. So they teach... Well, in this case, they teach active skills. I'm guessing these guys can teach either active or passive skills. So it, it's not traits like in PoE 1, but this can actually be useful. Although it's quite expensive. Okay, so n no, I don't think so. At least not right now. So how much gold do I have? 3,110. Okay. Well, uh, in the future, I'm probably going to come over here and learn some stuff. And I guess my next point to go to is the Radiant Court. Uh, let's go there then. To try and help that guy with the Iron Gut problem. Okay, Radiant Court. So, not... <gasps> Stray Dog. Not that large of an area. I have to end the episode, so I'm not gonna be talking to any people right now. I'm just gonna... Just gonna pick up... Oh, oh, this is stealing. This is stealing. I'm gonna pick up some chests along the way, but I really just wanna pick up the doggy. Hemp. Constitution and... Five Fortitude. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna place my characters in the same place where we started. And this is where we're gonna end our episode. I'm just gonna make my usual save here. It's gonna be save number 12. Um, and yeah, so in the next episode we're gonna be exploring the area of the Radiant Court, trying to help the guy uh, for the Iron Gut task and then see what else we can find. And I'm guessing that uh, the last area is where Captain Furante is going to be. We will have to see. So, as always, my friends, thank you so much for being here with me, watching some PoE2 Dead Fire. I hope you guys are enjoying the journey. If you have any questions or suggestions you know what to do, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There's videos coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Where is Chanchi? Where is Chanchi? Well, Chanchi. So. Oh, come on. What is it? Yeah. Chanchi. Chanchi. <laughs>